Welcome back fuckers. All right, today we're going to run through the next part of the aircraft carrier case one recovery piece of the puzzle part number three breaking the deck. So we're back in the supercarrier operations guide because it's got a nice little uh, overview of what you're going to do. So here we go. We'll read through it and then we'll do it in the jet. So we've got breaking the deck. Once you are within three nautical miles of the carrier and enough interval exists between you and other landing craft, you will automatically send tower side number overhead angels blah 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 so we've done that in the previous video <clears throat> we've gotten the signal is charlie we respond with our side number at this point the next communication will be with the lso at three quarter mile behind the carrier so we're going to be no more communications until we're about to land on the uh on the deck catching that sweet sweet three wire so the flight will depart holding pat holding from outside point number three and descend to 800 feet, an arcing turn will be flown to the initial point three nautical mile astern of the ship. The flight will continue inbound and fly just, fly just outboard the starboard side of the ship at 800 feet, paralleling BRC. The radio command kiss off should be given to your flight and the landing pattern should be entered. Okay, so the radio command kiss off we don't need to worry about because we're going to be doing this solo, but if you did have AI aircraft flying with you, if you, if you do single player, you'd call kiss off once you get past the ship and that would tell them that, yep, they're going to start their their pattern after you so let's have a quick look at what's going to happen so at the moment we are in the holding pattern okay we're at 2,000 feet circling the ship waiting for the signals charlie okay getting told by our tower signals charlie we're clear to land so remember point one is the ship essentially point two is in front of the ship at the uh, top of the circle point three is a beam the ship and then point four is the bottom of the circle after the ship and we're just flying around there waiting until we get signal with Charlie. So now as we have been given signal with Charlie, we're going to cruise around through point one through point two. We're going to go to point three. That's when we're going to start the breaking of the deck. So we're going to extend away, as it says here, depart holding from outside point three and descend to 800 feet. So we're currently at 2000 feet. We're going to descend down to 800 feet. As we get to 800 feet, we're going to turn a left hand arcing turn and we're going to set ourselves out so we roll out on brc course roughly three nautical mile behind the ship at 800 feet configured for landing ready to go okay so we're going from breaking the deck into the initial pattern so that's the next piece of the puzzle puzzle so i will see you boys in the jet in a second wait one right guys so we are in the F-18 now and we're just past point one we're coming through point number two and we're going to go ahead and start our descent down to 800 feet and 350 knots to start our initial so now we're going through uh, position number two and then as these two dots here get alongside our velocity vector we were at position number three we're then going to press uh, throttle lock off turn autopilot off I'm going to descend down to 800 feet and get up to speed at 350 knots and start our breaking the deck pattern all right well we're going to break the deck I should say ready to get into the initial pattern so we're cruising around here we've been given signals Charlie we're just about to hit position three and as we go through there we are we're at position three now so we're going to throttle lock off Autopilot off. We're going to descend down. To 800 feet. Picking our speed up. So we're looking for 350 knots. 800 feet. Let's go into our turn now. So this is all kind of just play it by feel. And just keep practicing this as well. If you struggle to uh, roll yourself out on the uh, initial pass just reset climb back up to 2000 feet do another uh, lap around and do it again all right so we're a little low here a little fast as well all right so we're at 800 feet right now pretty much on airspeed so now we're just going to shallow out our turn here so this is where having the uh the scale on 10 helps because you can kind of use that line as a guide to come on through and then obviously if you have a uh, flight flying with you you're going to be nice and uh not so aggressive with the 
the turns. So we're going to roll out 349 now. And we're pretty much a couple of tweaks here to get our airspeed up. 350 knots, 800 feet. And we're cruising in two mile to the carrier. So let's get ourselves. So we pass down on the right of the ship. 350 knots, configured the landing. Check the deck, looks clear. And then that is breaking the deck. All right, so the next point or the next part of the video is gonna be going into the break turn and then eventually landing on the carrier deck. So that is pretty much how you would fly uh, the braking, breaking the deck. So you go to position number three, all right, you've been looping around in 2,000 feet holding pattern in your uh, holding stack. Once you get Cygnus Charlie, when you get to position three, you extend downwind, descend down to 800 feet, increase your airspeed from 250 to 350 knots, loop around in a left-hand turn, and roll yourself out on BRC, passing right alongside the aircraft carrier, ready to go into the brake the break turn. Alrighty guys, so that is the next piece of the puzzle done. So one more thing, when you're doing this, break each of these parts up. So each of these videos I'm doing them so that you can fly each piece until you can do it perfectly. Okay, you want to practice, or perfect practice makes perfect is what we're after. So if you can't fly the holding pattern, like you can't maintain 2000 feet and stay within five nautical miles of the ship, hitting position one, two, three, and four. You need to keep practicing that until you can. Okay, once you've got the holding pattern down, then you can worry about doing the break turn. All right, or sorry, the uh, breaking the deck coming in for your initial. So if you are up to this part right now and you can't get yourself at 800 feet, 350 knots on BRC, flying to the, uh, the right-hand side, starboard side of the carrier, by the time you get to the carrier, you can't be at uh, pretty much 800, 350 knots, keep practicing. So if you come through and you're like, oh man, I'm way low, I'm 600 feet and I'm at 400 knots, climb back up, slow down to 250, get back up to 2000 feet as you come around, set yourself up again if you need to do another lap, okay, do another lap and then when you get to position three again, do it again, okay, do it again because all you're doing is you're reinforcing good, uh, good flying in the step before. So you're just reinforcing that, yes, I can fly the holding pattern and you're practicing, you're uh, breaking the deck. And then once you get to the point where, yes, you can break the deck, okay, you can get yourself onto uh, altitude and airspeed for the break turn, uh, you go into the next piece of the puzzle. So treat each piece as a individual step of the uh, case one recovery. If you fuck one piece up, go back to the start and do it again. Okay, we'll go back to the step before and repeat the process. Don't just be like, ah, oh, well, I fucked up, uh, I'm low and I'm way too fast, but fuck it, I'll try and land anyway. Because all you're gonna do is get yourself in a different spot, you need a different airspeed, a different altitude, your, uh, your turn into the brake turn is gonna be different, you have to pull differently on the stick, you're gonna have to chop the throttles, you're gonna have to put speed brakes out potentially, like you want to make this stuff repeatable that's the biggest thing you should be able to repeat the same process every single time if you can't do it the same way every single way uh, every single time you need to keep practicing until you can okay and that is the trick to learning anything not just dcs shit everything in life if you want to get good at something you have to practice it break it into little pieces practice the little pieces put all the little pieces together and then you've got the full process down all right fuckers i hope that helped if it did make sure you hit the like button on the video to let me know that you uh, it did help you. Uh, feel free to drop a comment as well. Uh, we had a few bits of advice given, which I'm taking on board. So we're gonna, this one will have probably noticed no music because uh, we had a few people say the music was too loud and then it was uh, it gets a bit repetitive and annoying after a while. So I've cut the music off. If you like the music, again, write in the comments and say, no, I prefer the music or no, it's better without the music, whatever. Whatever you guys want, I'll try and uh, make the video because I want to make this video the, the you know, the best uh, help for you. And if it's got something annoying in it that I can fix and make better, let me know. Except my voice, I can't change that. So fuck yes. Um, all right, so yeah, hit the like button, 
drop a comment if you need to. And if you haven't already subscribed to the YouTube channel, it helps me out a bunch. And lastly, I do stream on Twitch Monday to Friday at 1300 Australian Western Standard Time. So if you haven't drop on in, check me out on Twitch and uh, come say good day. Ask any questions you got live on stream. Give me some shit. And uh, yeah. Righto, boys and girls. Catches on the next one. The break turn.